you're asking yourself, yeah, so what? Once again, we're going to save you big money. Today, we're going to save you $17 by making your own hook and pick set, which, by the way, if you don't have them, once you have them, you won't know how you lived without them. Enjoy the show. Hello folks, back to the basics 101. Today I'm going to show you some of my treasured tools. Well, actually they're specialty tools that you will absolutely love. And you don't have to go buy them, you can make them. If you go to auction sales and junk rummage sales and whatnot, you'll find junk and you'll be able to make some really cool stuff in your spare time and save you a couple bucks. This one I made was just more of a hook with a flat end on it. Um, I've used it for scraping stuff out. Um, check this out. See if I had to scrape that out. Um, some In a small, hard to get area, I can just scrape things out of there. Um, this works really, really good around grease cirques and things like that, that I'm trying to reach in there and clean that grease cirque off. Um, just works really good. And remember, that was just a junky little tool. Now this one here, I've had for some time. Um, originally I had that as a point, but one day I needed a hook, a little bit longer of a hook than I had at the time. And so I just went ahead, took them to the grinder, and uh, grind, gr ground them down, put a little heat on this. And by the way, if you're gonna make your, a set of these, I, if you're gonna put any kind of bend in these, um, go ahead and just take your propane torch or acetylene torch and um, go ahead and warm them up that way you don't break them off because this is a hard metal and I would suggest using safety glasses as well but I went ahead and ground that down and I always dip them in oil so they don't rust too if you can and I just put a little hook on the end of that now that hook has proved itself um, awesomeness time and time again is actually a store-bought one that I got in, I don't know, a pile of auction sale stuff, I suppose. And I have used this little fella countless times. It is magnetic as well. Part of part of being successful is thinking it's... outside the box. And ranching, ranching can be very profitable. Homesteading can be very profitable. However, at times, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. I should really change the name of this channel. But really, actually, no. I was gonna say back, you know, save a dime or something like that. But truly, back to the basics is as accurate as it gets. One simply has to get back to the basics instead of this crazy notion that I'm just gonna go and buy everything. And you have it right in front of you. Oftentimes, the answers to our solutions are right under our nose. Look at that, complete 90. Well, complete enough for what we need it for. Now, I broke this twice making it, which is sad because it would have even been even a longer handle had I just taken a little bit extra time. And that is fragile, fragile material. I'm not sure exactly what those are made out of, but it's a fairly, it's not really wanting to bend. So you have to do it with just a little bit of, of um, heat and just in, out, in, out. It does lose its temper. So I dip mine in motor oil, let it cool down in motor oil. And that will also prevent it from rusting. Um, it's an old blacksmithing trick. That out. Now I have a 90 degree one. 